Welcome back, y'all. It's Adam. Today, we're taking a trip to Caffeinated Paradise with the Espresso Martiki. Grab your beach ball, your Bose speaker, and your shades. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Grab your whatever. Let's go make this. So in order to understand the Espresso Martiki, we really need to understand the Espresso Martini. Invented in a London nightclub in the 1980s by a bartender named Dick Bradsell, the Espresso Martini is a beautiful combination of coffee liqueur, vodka, espresso, and simple syrup. So legend has it that this cocktail was actually invented when a supermodel walked into the bar and told him, I need you to wake me up and fuck me up. It's true. They were not messing around in the London nightclubs back then. The vodka espresso, as it was known back then, took off and became a huge hit all across Europe and down under. Fast forward to 2019, the espresso martini is taking off again and things are getting exciting. Slovakian bartender extraordinaire, Martin Hudak, who literally wrote the book on coffee cocktails. You know what? I don't even know why. I'm Martin, you tell it. Can you hear us? Yeah, 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 all good. Yeah, all right. Well, good, good morning, I should say, right? Good morning, good morning. Tell us about the cocktails. Where were you? What inspired you, you know, to make this drink? I mean, I've been doing coffee cocktails for more than a decade. And uh, back in time when I was working in London, the American bar, the Savoy Hotel, the legendary American bar. Absolutely. Uh, the one element, which is a coffee, wasn't as good back in time. Coffee was pre-made in advance because we were very busy. But once you have a coffee pre-made in advance and the quality is not as good, uh, what happens even if you shake it super hard, sometimes you don't get an effect, that very specific, significant foam on espresso martins. Yeah, shape. like crema almost. Yeah, it wasn't like creamy and I was very frustrated. So I was thinking, oh my God, like I need to do something about it. I need to do like espresso martini with that coffee, which is not as good, but like more foamy. So what are the options? You know, you can use egg white, but I guess it would be very bad. <laughs> and then I was thinking, okay, what about pineapple? So I use a pineapple juice, which naturally foams up, has this beautiful effect. And at a pretty much similar time, I remember the new product came on the market from Plantation Rum, that was a pineapple. Instead of vodka, I tried the rum and I was like, oh, that's cool. Even though people love vodka and vodka is amazing, sometimes it might be boring when you mix it with the coffee. It just gives it the alcohol, but like no real flavor. Then the second thing was the sugar. Your espresso martini should have some sugar. So I was thinking, can I use something else than just classic sugar syrup? So I, I used orgeat or almond syrup. I was very lucky at that time, Mr. Black came on the market, which is local Australian coffee liqueur. You know, real coffee, less sugar, tastes good. So I blend it all together and then I was thinking, okay, I have a rum, I have a pineapple, I have an almond. Oh, Martiki, that sounds fun. We put it on the menu from 2019, from day one, and it's a best-seller coffee cocktail ever. And I'm very happy that, uh, you know, such a easy replicable twist on espresso martini called Martiki is alive and people enjoying it. Thanks again for joining us from across the world. Really appreciate it and uh, hope to talk to you soon. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, guys, and enjoy. Without further ado, let's get into this. We're going tropical right out of the gate with this Tiki Lovers Pineapple Rum by the folks over at Bitter Truth. This is a high quality flavored rum that's bringing really nice caramel vanilla notes from the rum along with a nice hit of natural pineapple. Next up, we have Mr. Black, which is a really high quality Australian cold brew coffee liqueur. They roast their own beans, they infuse their own cold brew. It's a really great operation and we love their stuff. For the espresso portion of this cocktail, we're turning to Bartender's Blend Coffee. This is a project by one of our good friends, one of the best cocktail YouTubers out there, Anders Ericsson. It's really good stuff, has great balance, and it performs really well in this cocktail. For the orgeat in this cocktail, we're going to go with our almond orgeat. That lightly toasted almond and the natural fat content really sings in this cocktail. And our final ingredient is some unsweetened pineapple juice. And pineapple and coffee are an unlikely pair, but it works so well. And this adds a nice, bright, tropical character to this cocktail. Let's start things off with one and a half ounces of pineapple rum. Next, we'll add half an ounce of Mr. Black coffee liqueur, one ounce of Bartender's Blend espresso, half an ounce of almond orgeat, finally one ounce of unsweetened pineapple juice. Now we'll add some ice to our shaker and give this a good shake. Let's go ahead and fine strain this into a chilled coupe. And for garnish, a few choice coffee beans. And there we have the espresso martiki. Yes, yeah, delicious. It is a perfect mix between a tropical drink and a you know, nice bright tropical profile and those rich, exhilarating notes that you would get from an espresso martini, that, that bitter, complex coffee. Really great balance. As I mentioned earlier, pineapple and coffee match made in heaven. Come on in here. This is the 
espresso martiki. I'll be the judge of this. It's really good. Well, you never think that pineapple and coffee <laughs> go well together. Yeah, it works really well. Yeah, it does. Weird. It doesn't smell like a coffee cocktail, but it has all the complexity of coffee. Yeah. I wouldn't try that and think even that that is an espresso martini. It's a it's a it's a successful cocktail on its own. Yeah. It's a really good cocktail. Very good. Yeah. Bye. So I definitely want to thank Martin for this. And thanks for joining us. Uh, Y'all should definitely check out his book if you're interested in this recipe as, as well as a lot of other amazing cocktails. This is an absolute winner of a cocktail. You should try this at home. And if you like this recipe, definitely give us a like and subscribe. We'll be doing these recipe videos. Hope to see you again soon. Cheers. Coffee and cocktails, they're two great loves. What was your first love there, coffee or cocktails? Uh, it's like the question, what was the first egg or a chicken? You know, it's hard to answer, but I guess from the legal perspective, in case my mom's watching, it was always coffee. At the very early age, when I was a teenager, when I was sipping from her cup, lots of sugar, lots of milk, and then later, obviously, it was a cocktail. <laughs> of course, of course, it's a great answer. They're both delicious, we enjoy both. Man, when you put them together in this way, like in this, espresso martiki uh it makes all of our lives better thanks again for joining us from across the world really appreciate it and uh hope to talk to you soon thank you adam thank you guys and enjoy take care Ciao.